Cross sat down. The chair felt stiff and cold. He placed his rolled drawings on the table, laid a hand on the glass. Then he looked Ken Rawlings directly in the eyes. You're living, or trying to live, in someone else's house, because it feels safe. But it isn't. I'm not following you, Rawlings said. This is Walter Gropius' house, Cross said. He glanced at Heather Rawlings. It has nothing to do with you, nothing to do with your wife. He felt his own passion beginning to stir, the passion to liberate people from the tombs of fear that kept them from expressing the truest parts of themselves, kept them from feeling completely, exquisitely alive. Gropius was fond of telling his students in Germany to start from zero. He insisted they throw out every convention, every nuance that spoke to the past. Nothing was worthy unless it was utterly new, pristine, a blank slate. And why? Germany had been destroyed, the German people humiliated. He wanted the past to die. That was his truth. I know the history, Rawlings said flatly. But that's not the history that matters, Cross said, speaking quietly. Where you live and how you live should be about your history and your wife's. Heather Rawlings grinned slightly, the first emotion she had shown. I'm afraid that would mean living in a fair amount of chaos. That stirred Cross even more. He looked at her. You don't need to be afraid. Chaos is the best place to start. 